Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Honky with a Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization France, Episode 11. In this episode, we're going to keep working towards democracy, build up our overseas colonies as well as we can, and eventually head towards radio. So let's boogie. And watch as the poor, poor Aztecs in English ha 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 have to deal with dog soldiers. Oh, here we go. One of our prominent young noble ladies has fallen in love with a Spanish nobleman, and they are to be wed in the Christian tradition. We can send well wishes and a token wedding gift, which does nothing. We can spend 18 gold, send hearty congratulations, and a generous wedding gift. Or, if we had 75 gold, which we don't, we could announce a national celebration, send an outlandish wedding gift, and donate generously to religious organizations in the name of the newlyweds. This would give us a plus one relations boost with Spain. This would give us a plus three relations boost with Spain. I would do this in a heartbeat if we had the money for it, but we don't. So, plus one. Please stop the war against the Viking Union. I don't like war, because we have the power of Entente, and we get along well with everybody. So, I still can't believe we have open borders with the Arabs. That just blows my mind. Alright, let's continue. Oh, and of course they completely ignore New York and head straight to Fort Rupert. Freaking dog soldier bastards. A Christian wedding between one of our citizens and one from the English Empire has drawn no protest from them and in fact little interest at all. Some family members of the newlyweds are griping but the incident appears to have passed without much bitterness. This is what happens and which I don't get considering the fact that they are Christian as well but anyways this is what happens normally if you are different religions and you get that same random event and this time you get to you get the exact same options but instead of increasing your relations it decreases them and it can be kind of funny if there's someone that you're a jerk that you don't really like all right Merry Xmas war is over okay get to work on that copper and you get to work on that fur. Oh, you know, I need to build a fishing boat there. Well, we got our, we got one down here in New Orleans. And now, you got your worker. Great. University. You did your work boat. That's good. Christian monastery. You got your worker. You're also going to build a Christian monastery. You would be building a Christian monastery, but you need a work boat more right now. And, okay, guess that's that for that turn. Let's see what that... Alright, and the dog soldier got killed by the British. Excellent. Oh, and Ming Tai Zhu no longer wants rice for stone. Okay. Would you do wine for rice? Cool. We really need the rice. Plus two health in all of our cities. It's it's no. There's no way in hell I'm declaring war on the Spanish. I don't like war. I like peace. Peace is a goal that we should all strive for and all that lovely stuff. Build a camp. All right, Christian, you're spreading all over the place. But it's spread to Dublin. Well, maybe that's a different one. Oh well, no big deal. All right, and uh. Yeah, that's that. Let's continue. Hmm. Oh, and here comes some more that appeared out of nowhere, like dog soldiers love to do. All the freaking time. Get up there and chase them down. You're probably not going to catch them. Oh, well. Okay, and you just... 
improve automate and improve closest city there we got a bank here we can build another worker but I don't think we need one now let's go ahead and do the university keeps trying to get me to build the forbidden palace but I would really prefer to build it in New Orleans or maybe that uh, Fort Rupert up north so I think I'm gonna hold off on that and build oh here I haven't actually explained these yet this is a part of the mod it is embassies you have to build embassies with nations that you aren't in regular contact with or else you will lose contact with them their names will disappear from over here and you won't see them anymore so if you they'll also build embassies on their own and I don't usually bother with it so you can build them if you want you don't have to and what do I want to do I think I'm just gonna work on research if you got your worker great Christian Monastery. Okay, that's that turn. And silence. And the Vikings want Defensive Pact. Defensive Pacts can be nice because they dissuade other... Where'd those... Ah, there they are. Trying to hide, huh? You won't get away from me that easily. I kill you. Barely. Jeez. Oh, God, he's going to die next turn, isn't he? Fuck. Uh... Let's build a few knights and send them over. Or, or we could... Yeah, let's build knights. They'll take an extra turn. But they will also... Um, <coughs> excuse me. They'll take an extra turn compared to the musket men. But thanks to the stables, they'll get upgraded two levels instead of just one. So I can have them send them over there already um, equipped to deal with tons of melee units. Well, let's see if we get lucky. Maybe they won't attack. Or maybe crossing a river? Well, maybe, maybe? Nope, I figured not. That's too bad. Oh well, that's what I get for being, for attacking them across the river like I did when they were in the woods. That was kind of stupid. But I thought I could, ah, uh, whatever. Okay, so, here's Constitution. No, I don't want you to be my vassal. I don't want any vassals. They're just a drain to your economy. No free man shall be taken prison and we have constitution. And you know what? We've got open borders with England, right? Yeah. So just hop on the boat. We only need the one, really. And get your butt over there as soon as you can. We could split to representation. Let's see, is there... No, I think that we're we're doing okay. I, I'm not going to change to anything until I get free market. Then I might do free market and representation, or maybe free market and emancipation, or universal suffrage. I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. But for right now, we're going to start building jails. Jail, you quit doing research. I want the golden age. Go Taj Mahal. Who is a fantastic blues musician, I'd like to add. See, see what defensive pacts are doing, can do for you? If I had a defensive pact with the Germans, I'd be declaring war on Russia right now. And I don't want to do that. Oh, here we go. Our brothers in the true Christian faith who dwell in the English Empire are at war. I thought we ended that war. Anyways, they lack for vital strategic resources that we have in abundance. This is our chance to come to their aid. We can offer them copper, which we're not going to do, because, well, no, we've got a second source of copper thanks to the Blooming Rome, but I don't think I'm going to do it. 
excuse me. Aside from that, you could provide iron, horses, ivory, oil, or uranium. And, you know, it'll, it'll improve your relations, but really, it's not a big enough deal. Okay, now that you've got that built, build a road. We've got our workbook. Excellent. Boom. Grow faster. And you build your road, too. Unload the knight. See, isn't that plus one movement bonus to ships worth it? And get ready to head on over to kill those freaking dog soldiers. Okay, workboat, now time for our Christian monastery. You guessed it. And it looks like that's all the time that I've got. Like, right now, this has been your Funky Honky with Let's Play Rise and Fall of Civilization France. Stay tuned for episode 12, and I hope you'll see me next time.